Caught on camera, a Tesla slamming into the back of an FHP cruiser. It happened on I-4 in downtown Orlando as a trooper was investigating an earlier crash. Take a look. This video just released. The driver claims the Tesla was on autopilot. Fox 35's Valerie Boy has more of this footage and an update on the investigation. Well, according to the Tesla handbook, hands should be on the steering wheel whether or not you're an autopilot. FHP troopers say a Tesla driver lost control of her car and it was all caught on dash cam. It's too close for comfort as a driver and FHP trooper almost get hit by a Tesla allegedly in auto drive. He was definitely shaken up, but you see in the video, luckily he was paying attention. It happened on I-4 by Lake Ivanhoe. Investigators say the trooper was responding to a crash with a disabled vehicle when the Tesla crashed. Lieutenant Kim Montez says the driver told them it was in auto mode. We had no way to prove one way or the other if it was in the auto mode. Um, but again, NHTSA is looking into that. And but even if the Tesla was in auto drive, Montez says the driver should have moved over. And as we move forward with technology, you still have to be in control of this vehicle. We reached out to Tesla but haven't heard back. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is investigating. Montez says this isn't the first time it's happened. They are doing an investigation and looking into 12 emergency vehicles that had their lights activated while they were stationary and struck by Teslas that were in this self uh, driving mode or auto mode. She says they're trying to find out why the Tesla didn't pick up the movement from emergency lights. We don't want this to be a continuing or potential issue. And troopers say the driver got a citation for failing to move over. In Orlando, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.